Grace Nation. We are a chosen generation. My name is Tony Oyenefo. I came to say thank you to the God of my father, Dr. Chris Okafo. The enemy conspired on 31st December 2023. He wanted me not to cross over with a joyous heart to the 2024. It happened in my village compound on Sunday, 31st December. We went to church. On getting back, I told one of the boys I carried in my vehicle to go and follow the, the back gate in our compound to open the gate for me. Not knowing when the boy crossed, this one of my, my nephew's son, a little boy of one year, saw him when he crossed to go and open the main gate. He didn't know. He, he came down from the house and was following him. So immediately he opened the gates i was climbing just like a, a, a hill i was climbing to come inside the house inside the compound not knowing the guy fell under my vehicle but the god of my father came at the nick of time they pulled this guy out of under my vehicle nothing happened to him nothing happened to him that first december i said that no other god that can do this except the god of my father i don't know what i would have done inside the compound a small boy they took from benin to come and celebrate christmas with us it was just wonderful i want to appreciate the god of my father he took care of everything we came back to lagos peacefully nothing happened it can only be the god of my father thank you jesus brethren celebrate the god of our father we are a chosen generation Great nation we are a chosen generation my name is C. John Mekage. i'm here to return all the whole glory to the god of this commission in the life of my younger sister since ever she married she has been having problem of miscarriage and the oppressions then um, last year, April, Papa said that we should come with our prayer request. I now called her to send her own. She sent it, I wrote it out and dropped it on the altar with some instructions. To the glory of God, that April did not pass her by. She took in. Hallelujah. As she took in, she now told me. So on her way to nine months, they said her baby is breached, that she will pass through oppression, and she has done before. She now told me, I came to Pastor Sylvester to pray for her. Pastor Sylvester prayed for her, even prayed for her on phone that nothing will happen to her. Then on the 26th of uh, December, she now delivered successfully a baby boy, healthy, fine, no problem. <laughs> Praise God. I still want to thank God for preserving my life and the, and the life of all my family members throughout last year. May the God of this commission be praised forever in the name of Jesus. Brethren, celebrate the God of my Father. You can do better than that. Celebrate Jesus!